All right, so what's up guys? Jordan Steen, serial entrepreneur here. Let me ask you a quick question. If you could know what successful digital marketing agency owners do on a day-to-day -day basis that's different, that makes us you know, different than every other agency, that makes us why we make our money, if you wanna know the secrets to that, we're gonna cover that in this episode. So stay tuned, here we go. All right, guys, so like I said in this episode, we're gonna talk about successful habits of marketing agency owners. What I've done is I've looked at a bunch of different marketing agency people. I mean, you guys have probably heard of several of these guys. We're not gonna go into this list, but these are big time agency owners that I'm sure you guys have heard of. Um, and basically what I've done is I've looked at a lot of their content over the past. Um, you know, I've talked with some of them. We've had, you know, meetings with some of them. Some of them have reviewed my course. Uh, so I've gotten a lot of feedback from them and I've studied them and I've put together a list of what they do, what I do, um, you know, what successful people in general do, and then applied it to what digital marketing agency owners do on a day-to-day -day basis. Because there basically is about five to six, you know, some of us have a little more different things that we do on a daily basis to make sure that we're continually growing, we're continually improving, and that our business is able to make more and more money, obviously, each week, each month, each year, right? So let's go into the, fir or the first order of business, uh, which is basically the most important thing in my opinion, um, and it's that you continually learn every single day. So number one is continual education. And by that, it could be reading blog articles, it could be doing audiobooks, it could be doing podcasts, it could be watching videos on YouTube, although I do not recommend that be the only way you learn. You need to invest in some type of educational course where the whole goal, the whole objective of that course is to teach you the in-depth information of that specific topic. All right, so if you're just going on YouTube, the issue is, you know, you can learn a lot on YouTube. I'm not saying that, obviously, that's why I put together this channel because it is a great way for people to learn and at least get started. But when you want to get to the advanced level uh, techniques, the advanced level strategy, no one's giving that stuff away for free because if we did, everybody would have access to it and everybody would be able to make money for it. That's why people charge for this kind of thing because we don't want everybody to have access to the you know, in-depth information on how to do stuff, right? We want to keep that market limited so that way there's some of us who, you know, took the time and effort to really learn it all to build our agency the right way. And in other businesses, it's the same exact thing. No one gives away the secret sauce unless you're willing to pay for it, right? So it does take an investment. Understand that up front. Education is an investment, but that investment, if you do it the right way, always returns much greater than what you put into it, okay? Trust me on this. Like my, if, you know, over the next five years, if I keep doing what I'm doing, then I'm gonna make at least five times the amount that I've, you know, put into my actual education for digital marketing, entrepreneurship, sales, just marketing in general. Because that's the other side of it, guys, is if you're trying to start a business, you have to understand there's more than just the marketing side. You have to understand people. You have to understand how to run a business. You have to understand sales. You know, sales is more than just being able to go out there and say, well, this is a really cool product. You should buy it. It's not that at all. And that's what most people think sales is. So that's why they struggle with getting clients. So understand that, you know, investing in your education, it's not just digital marketing. It's not just watching videos on YouTube and listening to podcasts all the time. You have to go out and search for specific things. So if you know you want to get really good at Facebook ads, find a course that is in-depth, you know, maybe a thousand bucks that'll teach you everything you need to know about Facebook marketing and Facebook ads. You know, there are courses out there that do that and you can niche focus yourself into an area and start off there and branch out that way. That's one method of doing it. All right. And a lot of entrepreneurs and especially business owners, successful mentors will tell you that you need to focus in one area first. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean in your business that you only focus on one vertical, but you can take that approach. Approach. And there's people like my buddy who I talk about, Kyle, um, who does PPC for my agency and he, he's in my course, he teaches PPC in my course. That's all he does. That's all he focuses on is pay-per-click advertising for search engines. So he's niched himself in there, but he does really, 
really great at it and he gets really great results for his clients. So they keep coming back and he's able to charge a minimum retainer of 1500 or two grand a month. I can't um, remember what it is, but that's what he charges to work with clients. So it's a really, really cool uh, way and a really effective way to get yourself niched into the digital marketing space if you wanted to take that approach. But again, guys, the biggest thing is when you're an agency owner, you have to keep learning because trends are changing all the time. Uh, new advancements are coming out, new technology, new software is coming out. So you have to stay on top of that. So you can, and that's what I love about what I do now is because people bring stuff to my attention all the time. And I'm like, I didn't even know that existed yet. So it's really cool for me being where I'm at. But you know, even if you're not in that in my situation, you can still find that information pretty easily. Facebook has a whole page dedicated to news and updates and um, things that they're going to be changing about their business platform or their ad platform. So step number one, super or <laughs> super continual, super important, continual education. All right, guys. So the next part, number two, is also very important because this is what I was mentioning earlier when I was briefly talking about sales, and it's that. You have to understand that, or you have to do more study into the psychology, whoops, not, <laughs> sorry with an S, the psychology, psychology of marketing and sales. And basically how it relates to people, because that's where a lot of people mess up with their agency. They don't understand, number one, that marketing or the psychology of marketing and sales applies to not only their, you know, landing customers and getting clients for their agency, but it also applies to marketing online. If you don't understand how people process information, how people take an ad or how people, I get questions all the time. A perfect example is people will ask me what type of campaign they should run for their client. And I'm like, well, <laughs> let's just start. We could start with where's the, what type of client is it? Obviously we don't go into this unless they pay for my consulting because seriously, that question alone is an hour conversation. No matter what the business is, no matter if you know it's the same industry that you're doing every time, each business is a little different. So what marketing campaign that's going to work for that business could be a little bit different than even its competitor. You know, if they want to focus heavily on video or the competitor doesn't, then you know that's going to require a completely different marketing strategy. So understanding the, you know, how people walk through an ad campaign on Facebook or if Facebook's even going to be beneficial for that business. I had a kid uh, reach out to me the other day. They do a lot of corporate recruiting. Uh, so he was like, well, do you think I should use Facebook? I was like, yeah, probably. But I also think that LinkedIn would probably be a better platform for you to start on because it's focused on professionals, right? That's perfect for recruitment. People are going on there to look for jobs anyways. You could run LinkedIn ads for job postings. So there's a lot that you have to understand about the psychology of marketing and sales. So reading books like How to Win Friends and Influence People, um, I always tell you guys, hang on right here, this book right here. Thank you for arguing. Really great book. I'll leave the description down in the link below, but really, really great book. All right. That's the kind of stuff you need to be reading because it teaches you about people. These are people who've written books based on experiences, based on research that they have done. But a lot of them are uh, business owners or successful entrepreneurs that have written books on their experiences. And that's the best way to learn is from somebody else's experience. And then taking those experiences, applying them to your experiences and learning from those as well, right? Experiential learning. That's what I like to call it. I don't even know if it's a real thing. I'm going to coin it if it isn't, but experiential learning is the way I like to learn through experience, right? So psychology, marketing, and sales, doing study there is super important. Understanding how people react to things, understanding how people are going to receive it just by saying specific words. You know, the wording you use is very important. When you're going into a meeting, you know, understanding that you should say you more than you say I is important because you're saying, if you're saying, if, or if you're focusing on the phrase or the word I, if you're saying I'm going to be able to do this and I'm going to be able to do this for you and I'll be able to get this many more sales, Instead of saying, you'll get this many more sales, you'll get this many more customers, you'll see this much more engagement on your Facebook page. You notice how everything is more focused on them as opposed to what I can do because it's not about me. It's about them. So understanding the psychology of how people react and receive information is super important. All right. So that's number two. All right. So number three is 
really, it's actually quite interesting. And this kind of goes into a story of when I first got into marketing in the corporate world. So if you guys have paid attention to my channel at all, we're going to have story time with serial entrepreneur. <laughs> no, but you guys, sorry. Okay. If you guys have watched my channel at all, you might've seen some of the videos where I talk about when I first got into digital marketing. Well, when I first got into it, it was in college, but then outside of college, I took my first job in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, working for a company where my job was marketing consulting. That's exactly what I did for digital. And I did uh, broadcast, which is TV, spot TV. Um, so I did marketing consulting there and built marketing campaigns there. I managed budgets anywhere from 250 to $300,000 uh, annually. And, you know, it was a cool experience. But what I want to teach you is that what I learned when I first got there, I went out with a sales rep one day and we were riding around in the car and she was kind of showing me the ropes because I was new to, you know, the corporate world and this corporate sales game. And she said one thing to me that I always, you know, remember to this day. And she was like, Jordan, the one thing that's going to benefit you a ton as a marketer is understanding that everything around you is an advertisement. So when you're walking around outside, uh, you know, in your city, or if you're in your house looking at things, if you're watching TV, if you're watching, scrolling through Facebook, if you're sitting there on YouTube and you're getting those ads, I watch all of those ads, like most of them, because I'm watching them to see what they did that could capture attention. And especially like, I won't, okay, I may have exaggerated. I won't watch all of them, but I definitely watch the ones that capture my attention. And then I will pay attention to some, if it's a brand that I follow, if it's, or if it's something specific, like with me, I watch all of the digital marketing ads that I see on there, whether it's Ty Lopez or Billy Jean or Alex Becker, uh, you know, anybody who's online on YouTube or Facebook, I watch all their ads because I want to see how I can apply that strategy to my marketing campaign, right? So understanding number three, let me write it on here. So understanding, and really it's more being aware. A lot of people aren't aware. They ride around all day with a, just this daze on their face, like nothing is going on around them. When all the while they could be spending that time doing research and figuring, you know, things out about their environment or ways to improve their business just by looking around and being aware. So understanding uh, or being aware of surroundings. All right. Did you know that about on average, about 4,000 to 10,000 ads are shown to each person every single day and you don't even realize it. You know, these could be ads. Again, you don't realize what's an ad until you start actually paying attention to it. And this is going to be crucial in making you a better advertiser is just understanding that everything you see is an advertisement. Uh, this little logo on this little box right here for, you know, it's a tool that I use to convert video straight into live video. Video, um, or straight into my computer. Sorry. It converts video straight from my camera into my computer. Well, this logo is advertising. That is advertising right there. You don't even realize it. It's an ad. This Polaroid, which I better get money for this Polaroid, that little Polaroid cap, that's an advertisement. But you don't realize that on a daily basis, you're seeing, especially if you're going out into the world and you're driving through big cities and you see billboards and you see stuff on people's cars like decals, there's all kinds of stuff that you don't even realize is an advertisement around you that you can be getting ideas off of, especially if it's something that really captures your attention. So what I urge you all to do is to start watching those ads, start watching and paying attention to ads on TV and asking yourself the question, what made that interesting? That's why when, like, when I watch the Super Bowl, I watch the Super Bowl for the ads because I enjoy that more because it gives me more of a kick and I sit there and I actually get in deep thought. I shouldn't, I should just be there enjoying it, but I'm sitting there getting in deep thought about what's going on on that commercial because I want to understand it. I want to know why they spent millions of dollars to produce that one commercial and then use that to generate traffic or generate engagement or sales, right? Super important. Uh, to understand is just being aware of your surroundings and then paying attention to ads, paying attention to what's going on in your market or in your uh, clients' industries so that way you're able to produce a better result. So that's number three. All right, so the fourth thing we're going to talk about, which is another really simple one, it's, I mean, if you're a good marketer, you do this anyways because you always A-B test, but it's testing different...
methods. Testing different methods is crucial because nothing cha like nothing stays the same in marketing. The more you market, the more you'll learn this, but nothing stays the same. Everything is constantly changing, especially, and this is even with regards to photo, with video, with copy, with email, with the way people receive messages, with inbox rates, with open rates, with conversion rates. Everything changes on a regular basis, and the quicker you understand that, you know, it is, you have to continually keep coming up with fresh ideas or new ideas. And that can be hard. That can be challenging. That's really the most challenging part about marketing is coming up with fresh ideas consistently and then figuring out a way to leverage those ideas to, you know, get sales, get more conversions, get more leads, more engagement. So that's why it's important to test. And that's why step three is so crucial because again, if you're taking in constant information, constant ideas on a regular basis, and you're recording those down somewhere, you're writing them down and you're actually trying to implement them. It's going to make you a better marketer because again, you're testing different methods. You're figuring out, you know, what's working now, what's not working now. You're doing other things like we mentioned in the first and second step, which goodness, what was the first and second step? Yeah. Learning something new about digital marketing and studying the marketing and sales psychology. If you do all of these things together, you understand that all of this relates back to digital marketing. All right. Every last bit of it goes back to figuring out different methods, different strategies that are going to work with digital marketing. All right. Or with marketing in general, it's not even just digital marketing. This is marketing one-on-one -on -one. different things you have to know or, you know, be doing on a regular basis. These are just what us digital marketers who have, you know, found a successful business model and who have started something that's working. This is what we do on a regular basis. And so I wanted to give you guys the keys to the city. This is what it is right here. All right, guys. So number five or the fifth one, let me get rid of number four over here. Number five is one that every good business owner, every good it's, you know, every good marketer, of course, because marketing is all about who you know and knowing more people. Actually, really, that's just more business. Business is all about who you know. The more people you know, the better off you are. But it's really building relationships and networking. Relationships and networking. Okay. On a regular basis, on a daily basis, you should be reaching out to new people. And the reason why is, again, if you've paid attention to any of my other episodes, we talked about the reasoning, uh, you know, one of the reasons being that the high turnover ratio, um, marketing is an industry where people will drop left and right because, you know, they, you won't, you know, you can do the best marketing job ever and they're doing things wrong on their business and like they're not managing their funds properly or something like that. And then they're not able to afford marketing anymore. So they have to cut the budget. Things happen like this all the time. You'll get good customers. You'll get, you know, several good customers who will stay on for the life and they'll pay their bills on time because they're consistently doing what they need to do on their end to get more customers. But you will have some businesses who don't know what they're doing. And so, you know, sometimes it can cause you to have to get new business because you just ran out of customers, right? Because all of your customers suck. Sometimes that happens. It just is the nature of the business. So that's why networking and building relationships is so you know, important. You have to be bringing a new business outside of that. It, you're able to leverage those relationships. Like it's not, it's not taking advantage of someone if you're giving value back or if you're giving value first. I'll give you guys a perfect example. I have someone who's about to come on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, we're going to do some Facebook Live, some YouTube together. He's probably not even going to see this video, but even if he does, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I reached out to him because, well, for two reasons. Number one, I like the content he was producing already. Number two, he has a service that I want to be able to utilize because I know that if I do, it'll bring good things for my agency. Basically, what he does is he works with PR agencies and he gets people published in big magazines like Forbes, Entrepreneur, you know, those big time names. So what I told him was he didn't have a huge following on YouTube and, you know, had an okay following on Facebook, a little bit bigger than mine, but he's been doing this for several years. So what I offered to do was to do some video collaboration where he can come on and talk about his stuff and talk about how PR is super important with marketing campaigns and how to find influencers and get published in these big time publications, right? So that'll be good for him. So after two or three videos, I'm going to see if he'd be willing to introduce me to one of the editors at one of those or one of the public 
publishers at one of those magazines so that way I can get Serial Entrepreneur on the map. Does that make sense? So building these relationships is important because again, you can take what they have and they will utilize what you have. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, being greedy, it's not taking advantage of someone if it's mutually beneficial, okay? So, that's pretty much it. Now, let's go over some last minute things, guys. Basically, these are the five things that you have to start doing to see some more success with your agency on a regular basis. You should be learning more, you should be meeting new people, you should be study. really, most of it comes down to studying and practicing and then meeting new people. That's basically what it boils down to. I could have summed all of this up into study, meet new people, keep learning, keep trying to improve. I mean, that's really what it is. So outside of that, guys, if you like this video, if this video was helpful for you, I need you to do me a favor. I'm going to do something for you first, though. In the bottom, in the description, I'm going to give you $75 off the digital marketing school right now. If you guys go ahead and scroll down there. You'll see a link for $75 off the digital marketing school. You can get in and start learning all of this stuff that we go through on my YouTube channel, figuring out what you need to do to start a successful marketing agency to put all the pieces together. So that way, like, I know you guys have probably maybe even taken a course at this point and you still feel lost I'm telling you, you need to check out what we're doing at Serial Entrepreneur Academy. I have people come here and they're like, dude, after I came here, it all started to click and make sense. So check that out. $75 off the next thing. If this helped you at all, even if you don't want the marketing school, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. You don't have to purchase it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. If you already took a course and you're comfortable where you're at, that's great too. If I helped you at all though, do me a favor and like this video so that way other people can see the video and get the help they need. It all comes down to you. So don't be greedy. Make sure that people see the video by liking it and also throw a comment down there below letting me know something that you do on a daily basis that has helped you see some success that maybe I didn't cover in this video. Because you know, if I can find some, some, more, some more habits to add to my you know, list of things I need to do to make myself more successful and I think it's going to be beneficial to me, then I'm going to do it. So please leave that comment in the section below and let me know what's been working for you. Outside of that, guys, make sure you're paying attention because we got some really awesome content coming up over the next month. We're going to do more examples on, you know, uh, different campaigns that work for different industries that are super effective that you guys can take and apply to your business or your clients. Uh, and you're not going to want to miss those. Plus, more on how to land clients, how to get your business growth. Um, all of that's coming up in the rest of March and April. So. Until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you look down in that corner and click that subscribe button so that way you can get all of the updates. I might have done it on the wrong side. It actually might be that side. I think it is that side. Oh, well, you get what I'm saying. Click down there, subscribe, so that way you can get all these updates. Outside of that, guys, I'll see you on the next episode. Serial Entrepreneur out. Later. Ready to start living the six-figure, work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.